Welcome to another St Ed's Geography Revision video, this time a waterfall formation. It's from the Rivers on the Land topic, obviously in the physical paper. We'll also be looking at how you can use this in an exam answer. OK, so the exam question comes from 2010. It's a four-mark question. As it's a four-mark question, it's levelled in the marking. That means they're going to look at the quality of what you write and give it a level one or a level two. A level one has some points, jumps about a bit maybe, might be incomplete, you haven't got the whole sequence, maybe it's not linked together and things like that. However, we are not interested in level one for any of you here. Everyone should be aiming at level two. Level two you need a complete clear diagram or maybe two diagrams. You've got to have labels that are clear and developed and linked. So you don't just have short labels, you have them that are developed and linked. I'd call that annotating. Also, while you're doing that, it's really key that you involve keywords and processes. So you don't say worn away or falls off. You talk about erosion or abrasion or hydraulic action and the like. So now I'll just put the exam question to one side for a minute and just revise how waterfalls are formed. First of all, the very start of it is you have a layer of hard rock overlying a layer of softer rock and the water flowing down over it. And as the second part of this shows, obviously what's going to happen is the softer rock will get eroded quicker. And all of a sudden right here you have the very start of a waterfall. And that gets eroded slightly more and slightly more and you get what's called a plunge pool formed and there's one of the key first key terms you can talk about in fact really there are another couple of key terms I've already used which is uh, eroding we could call that more resistant and less resistant rock and of course all this is happening in the upper course of the river okay now let's zoom in on that last picture and see how the waterfall actually works We've got the hard rock overlying the soft rock or the less resistant rock and obviously the water falling down here into the plunge pool. Now the plunge pool is made deeper by erosion. Erosion by abrasion where the rocks here in the plunge pool deepen out and scour out the plunge pool. Also by hydraulic action the sheer force of the water falling down into there. Another type of erosion is also happening in here. It's when these rocks are hitting into each other and that's called attrition and they'll become smaller and smoother over time through that. Now the hydraulic action and the abrasion mean this plunge pool is not only made deeper but also cut back here. And this is undercutting the hard rock over the top which isn't being eroded so quickly obviously but then it ends up as overhang with nothing to support it and so falls down into the plunge pool creating more fallen rocks. So the cycle is repeated. And what happens over time therefore is the water waterfall retreats backwards, it retreats upstream and a gorge is formed, a steep sided valley either side and that is the whole process. And here's a little bit on the gorge, this is a picture showing a waterfall obviously. So the overhang from the previous picture would be here and as the undercutting goes on here in the plunge pool that overhang is going to fall down and retreat and retreat. And if you can picture it retreating, as this goes back and back here, you'll be left with a really steep sided valley all the way back, and that is the gorge. OK, and here is an impossibly good answer to the question. I just found this image on the net. No one's expecting you to write this much for a four mark answer, nor are they expecting you to be able to colour it in and draw it as well as that. But here's something to have as an ideal in your head. Read through this. Look how the points are developed. Look how the key phrases are used. Look how the whole sequence is there from start to finish. OK, and here's the question again that we started the uh, video with. Um, to help your revision, the best thing to do is to practice answering exam questions. So it's a four mark answer. You want to give yourself five minutes to do it. And then, of course, you can hand it in and I'll mark it for you. All the best with your revision.